Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Milan at Infinite Life and welcome back to another PlayStation 5 video. So today, we're going to be taking a look at the limited edition God of War Ragnarok DualSense controller. This special edition controller is being released alongside the highly anticipated sequel to the 2018 release of God of War. Now this controller is a PlayStation Direct variant exclusive and retails for $74.99. Similar to some of their other highly sought after colors like Cosmic Red, galactic purple and one of my favorites the gray camouflage which i did an unboxing review earlier this month and you can watch that right here so let's start by taking a look at the packaging of this controller because this time the box design is different compared to their prior dual sense releases so let's first talk about what is similar to the other control packaging we still have the blue and white motif in regards to the box the playstation and sony logo across the top and a straight view on with the controller design right in the middle but that is where the similarities end. The lower one third of the box is black and it looks like it represents the ground with some blades of grass popping up. There's also white dots, which some are streaked, giving it the impression of snow falling. And if we look at the left hand side of the box, we see an outline of Kratos standing there with his Leviathan axe. And on the right side of the box, we have Atreus with his mighty bow. On the front, it also states that this controller is a limited edition as well. All right, so let's go ahead and actually unbox this controller. So just like my previous DualSense unboxings, there isn't a lot that comes with it. You have the controller and an instruction manual, and that's it. Once again, no USB-A to USB-C charging cable is included. So make sure you keep the one that comes with your PlayStation 5 safe and in good condition. Now my first impression of this controller out of the box, I have to say, I'm not very impressed with it overall. There are subtle individual things I like about it, but the whole is not greater than the sum of its parts. Okay, so first, let's talk about what caught my eye right out of the box. We have a black D-pad and PlayStation icon buttons, like the gray camouflage controller, which I like. What is different about this God of War Ragnarok controller compared to all of the other previously released DualSense is a white faceplate at the bottom around the thumbsticks. This is the first time we have seen the faceplate in white when it's typically black. Even the PS button is white. The overall design of this controller has a two-tone blue and white color scheme giving it a cold and icy feel. This is most likely to represent Fimble Winter, also known as the Great Winter in Norse mythology, which immediately preludes the events of Ragnarok. Now I really like this next element of the controller. We have the bear and the wolf insignia, which obviously represents Kratos and Atreus. This insignia is the same blue as the controller, against the white background on the touchpad. The option and share buttons are also blue, matching the grip color. Now looking at the back side of the controller, the back plate has the same blue to it, and right there in the middle, you have this awesome God of War Ragnarok logo. And man, does that look really nice. We still have the same great micro texturing of the underplate with the PlayStation icons. The top part of the controller, again, is the same blue color with the Sony logo and the USB-C charging port right above it. You can see the white touchpad wrapping around the top edge. The bumper and triggers are also black, similar to the other DualSense controllers. The bottom faceplate, again, is in white, which is new. We have the holes for the speaker, the new white PS button, and the mute button. And lastly at the bottom, the 3.5mm headphone jack and the conductor charging points. There are so many great little things about this controller, but overall, I just don't love it as much as I would like to. It just seems too plain and simple. We know the series of God of War takes place in Norse mythology, and we know winter is coming. Imagine if the blue parts of the grip had a frost ice pattern to it, and runic symbols and charms sprinkled throughout. Similar to how the gray camouflage controller has the PlayStation icons in certain light areas of the camo design. We could have had runic patterns or protection charms inside certain colors of the controller. Or maybe some of the patterns of Kratos' Leviathan Axe. I feel like the creative team between Sony and Santa Monica could have added so many small great elements to this controller design to really have a winner. So what do you think so far? Do you agree or do you like the way the limited edition God of War Ragnarok controller looks? Leave a comment in the chat below and let me know. The overall functionality of this DualSense controller hasn't changed from the rest. The feel and the size and the weight are all the same. So if you have used one, this will feel very familiar. And that's not a bad thing. You know what you are getting underneath a brand new finish. And that is the best PlayStation controller. The buttons are in the same location as expected. The triggers have the same haptic and adaptive feel. And the touchpad is just as smooth and responsive. It is only a cosmetic change versus a functional one. Now just like any other new controller, you do have to pair it with your PlayStation before use. Make sure to plug it in via the USB-A to USB-C cable. Press the PlayStation button in between the thumbsticks 
and allow the controller to pair to your console. Complete the software update and you are all set with your brand new limited edition God of War Ragnarok controller. Alright everyone, so there you have it. A look at the brand new God of War Ragnarok limited edition PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. So what do you think? Do you like it? Have you gotten one already? Are you planning on getting one? Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Honestly, my opinion on it is pretty mixed at this time. There are great individual design elements I like about it, but at the time of making this video, the overall aesthetics just isn't doing it for me. And I hate comparing it back to the gray camouflage, but that controller just looks so good that it's hard not to. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you are enjoying my content overall, please consider subscribing to my new channel. Thank you to all my new and day one followers for all your support. I hope you guys are enjoying your playthrough of God of War Ragnarok as much as I am. Please consider following me on my other social media platforms like Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter, and we will see you in the next video.